Hello everybody, it's Chris from Remind, and I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the features of Remind Docs, which is a simple, smooth, and fast way to share and sign your documents. First thing you'll want to do is get your signature and initial stamps created. Head on over to the Settings section and click Add Create over here. It's up to you whether you want to draw or type out your signature and initials. Uh, either will do. It's up to you. This will be the signature and initial that you add to anything you sign yourself in Remind Docs going forward. While we're here, let's take a look at the time zone. This will be the default time zone associated to all new documents you create here. All timestamps associated with the documents you create include the time zone, so they'll be stamped according to the time zone chosen here. Finally, down below, your notification settings are outlined here. Right now, email notifications for when a document has been shared to you and when your client or cooperating party has finished signing are automatically turned on. You can choose to opt in or out of email notifications for when your documents have been opened by the party you're sharing them with. Let's take a look at the Documents section. The idea of a document file is pretty straightforward. If you've got a client or a particular deal you're working, you can create a document folder for all associated documents. It's up to you how you want to organize them, but know that you can create as many folders and subfolders and subfolders of subfolders as you need. It's not unlike how you'd organize your folders in your Mac or PC. Okay, let's get to uploading your documents. There are a couple of ways to upload into Remind Docs. You can click Start Now right here in the middle of the dashboard, or if you're in a document folder, you can just click Upload up top. All you need to do is select the document you want to upload, pick a destination folder, or create a new one, and upload. Now, unless you're just looking to store this document for your records, you'll likely need to get some signatures or initials added to it as part of a deal you're working on. From the client file, I can click on the document to open it up and click on the people view to make sure that I'm set to represent the right side. In this instance, I'm representing the seller, so I'll click the seller landlord button and head back to the document view. Then I'll click on Signature, select myself, and add a signature field for me here. Then I'll add my client by clicking Add Person, enter their name, some other info, and then place their signature tag over here. I can make further edits to the document by using the Draw and text box tools as well. I can use the straight line tool to cross out certain parts, the ellipse to highlight things, and the crossed out rectangle to eliminate entire paragraphs if I want. If I needed to add more text, I can put a text box in anywhere and fill it with anything I want. I can also use the undo button to get rid of my last change and redo if I want to re-add any edits I made in sequence. So I've got my document ready to be signed. Signing is pretty easy. I can click start signing up top here, select the documents I want signed right now, and I'll add my signatures first. Since it's my account, my signature is already set up, so I'm done in just a click or two. Now it's time to send it off to my client, or whoever it is who needs to sign the document. I click Send in the upper right here. Again, select the document I want to sign and move forth to entering the recipient's email address. Right below, I can change the subject line of the email and include an extra message if I want. So this is what the recipient sees. Once the email's been opened, they can either download the PDF themselves 
or simply click open and then sign. Remind Docs will guide them through the signing. All they have to do is either type or draw their signature and click the highlighted tags to sign. Since I'm sharing with the client in this instance, they can't edit the document themselves and they can't accidentally sign someone else's spot. Remind Docs won't let them do that. The signer is kept informed of their progress, how many signatures or initials they have left to go, and when they're done, they get an email with their own downloadable copy of the document that they signed. On your end, you get a notification when they've opened the document, and you get another one letting you know when they've completed signing. Jumping back to your Remind document file, you can open up the document to see that it's signed. Because documents can go through many iterations and changes, you can always retrieve an old version of the document by clicking History up top here. So, recapping this quick tour, you know where to edit your signature and notification settings. The document section gives your documents a home and offers up an easy way to keep organized. And your uploaded documents can be edited and set up for signing before being sent by email by clicking send in the top right. Lastly, if you need any help, just click on support in the bottom right corner to visit our help center.